Okay, y'all, we're going to be reacting to this video called Steve Harvey's wife mistakenly admits to cheating with bodyguard. So apparently, Steve Harvey's wife cheated on him with his own bodyguard, which is so fucked up in the head, man, to do. How in the hell you going to cheat on your husband with his bodyguard named Boom, bro? That's crazy. So Boone introduced Steve Harvey to this woman who was now his wife before Steve Harvey got into a relationship with her before they got married. So Steve Harvey's wife cheated on him with Boom Boom and Boom Boom was smashing his wife and fucking her left to right, bro. This is just sad, bro. Like I say, ladies, if you go cheat, why get into a relationship? If you go cheat, just stay single. It's no use to get into a relationship if you go be cheating. It's not right at all, bro. It's wrong, bro. Man, like I say, you cannot be a slave to the pussy. And you cannot let these women control you and Play your ass for a fool. We can't save these hoes, bro. Like I say, these hoes don't want to be saved. Don't say it or they don't want to be saved, bro. You got to know when some women are for the streets, bro. You cannot say these birds. You got to treat a bird like a bird. Treat a thought like a thought. Like I be saying, man. You always got to be stoic when it comes to your woman. You always got to observe your woman, observe your girl at all times, bro. If you don't, shit like this will happen. And Steve Harvest's wife is going to get that $4.1 million from him. This is just sad. <sighs> Before you get married, fellas, you need to sign a prenup. You need to get out of money before you get married, man. Like I say, you all got to stop. Wife of these modern women up, bro, because they will play your ass for a fool, bro. They will trick you. This woman married Steve Harvey for his money. It's just sad, bro. This is fucking sad. So, no further, let's jump right to the video. To Jimmy, she said, uh, what she said, Jimmy, you know what, Steve, he's, he's so much like my dad. In a stunning turn of events that has sent shockwaves through the entertainment world, Marjorie Harvey, the elegant wife of television personality Steve Harvey, finds herself entangled in a bitter family drama. Allegations of infidelity have surfaced, with Marjorie being accused of having an affair with a bodyguard. But what led to the exposure of this scandalous revelation? Marjorie's past has had its fair share of controversies. She entered her first marriage at a tender age of 18 to a man named Jim, who happened to be 14 years her senior. Unbeknownst to Marjorie, Jim was already married, leading to a scandalous affair. Their relationship was marked by highs and lows, ultimately resulting in Jim's conviction and imprisonment. After parting ways with Jim, Marjorie embarked on another relationship, this time with Jim's cousin, Darnell Woods. Together, they had a daughter named Lori. Shockingly, Darnell was involved in illicit activities, being known as a drug dealer. He faced incarceration, which prompted Marjorie to finalize her divorce from him in 2001. In an unforeseen twist, rumors began circulating about Marjorie allegedly being involved with William Big Boom Freeman, Steve Harvey's bodyguard. A closer look into Freeman's past revealed some disturbing details. Despite his role as Steve's trusted aide, Freeman had a dark history as a former pimp and openly admitted to mistreating women. However, Wow, son. Fellas, let me tell y'all something. If your wife gets involved with a guy named Boom, who's a bodyguard, that's your bodyguard, that's supposed to protect you 
at all times from something happen to you like when celebrities do something rash or bad to you when they come up to you or they trying to get up stage to meet you or do some harsh things to you or some inappropriate things to you like try to fight you and all that kind of stuff and trying to kill you and your wife cheat on you with a bodyguard that's supposed to be protecting you at all times who's supposed to have your back and who's supposed to look out for you and your wife is having an affair with other men that she's been getting ran through She's been getting dogged out. She's been getting fucked by other men in her past. And your wife and you have a daughter. And if your wife is a thought, that means your daughter is going to be a thought too. Thoughts, we raise thoughts, man. Once a thought always a thought bro these women are fun girls these girls like to have fun these the kind of girls that don't want to be saved if a girl don't want to be saved don't save them they don't want to be saved they're used to getting dogged out they don't like the good guys they like the bad guys Steve Harvey is a provider bro he was a liability to this woman named Marjorie. Marjorie played him for a fool, bro. And Steve Harvey saying that women don't have to bring nothing to the table. Men do. Man, this is just fucking sad, bro. This man might as well divorce this woman and leave her and focus on himself. She's going to get half of that money in his savings account, man. She going to get his money. He should get all of his money, bro. Once a gold digger, always a gold digger. This is why I say, before you wipe these chicks up, do a thorough background check, man. Do your research history, bro. Don't let a woman disrespect you like this, man. Because if you don't respect yourself, nobody will respect you. This is why I say respect yourself at all times, at all costs. A man has to protect his identity at all times. A man is supposed to protect his money. And a man is supposed to protect his private identity, man. He's supposed to protect his money at all times. He's supposed to protect his um stuff at all times, bro. Before you wipe these chicks up, you need to get some alimony so your wife won't take half of your savings, half of your money out of your bank account, man. Facts. He had managed to rebrand himself as a respected speaker, author, and celebrity bodyguard. The allegations surrounding Damn, Marjorie's affair just with Freeman raised concerns Steve about Harvey's the stability of the Harvey family. While Steve That's and Marjorie's relationship up, faced scrutiny, Steve's previous marriage to Mary resurfaced. Mary. Accused Steve of disloyalty, abuse, and selfishness during their time wow, together. In man. response, Steve filed a lawsuit against Mary, claiming that she hindered his career. Refusing to remain silent, Mary took to YouTube Damn. to expose what she believed were Steve's transgressions. She presented evidence, Steve including Harvey, text bro. messages, to support her claims that Steve had and neglected her financially while showering Marjorie with extravagant luxuries. In response to the allegations what? and the ongoing feud between... <sighs> you showered Marjorie with... A lots of luxury things, materialistic luxury stuff, and you spent all this money on a woman like this. 
Are you fucking kidding me? Like I said, fellas, if your woman is getting you to spin, 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 money on her and buy her cars, trucks, and she's getting you to buy her Rolexes, and she gets you to get her hair done, her nails done, to buy clothes and buy a jewelry and buy her luxury diamond rings and she, she give you to buy her expensive stuff that she wants you to buy her for 150k or 250k or more or like 30 or 40k and she's a liability to you when she wants you to be a sponsor when she looking for a sponsor like you and you are a liability and provide to her and after all these years, these guys had ran through this chick, bro. They pumped and dumped on her, bro. They pumped and dumped in her. They combed all over her face. All these dudes, man, they ran right straight through this chick. And she turned around 10 years later. And now she want a good man. She got a good man like him. And she got what she wanted out of this dude. Fellas, if you're spending mad money on this woman like this woman right there named Marjorie. And you splurge all this money on her. She is a liability to you, bro. She is a provider. If a woman is a provider to you, her ass got to go. This is why I keep saying stop tricking on these women, bro. It's not worth it, man. It's not worth it, bro. I bet Steve Harvey didn't even get nothing in return. He ain't getting smashed. This is why I say stop tricking on these women. Don't never leave with your wallet. If you leave with your wallet and you cuff these chicks up and you wipe them up, you can get played every time. This is why I say stop wiping hoes and thoughts up, bro. Don't never be a slave to the pussy. I'm going to tell you something. Understand something, fellas. These women will use their body as a tool. From you getting sex from them. To get what they want. They want money out of you. They want gifts out of you. They want presents out of you. They want to go to find and dying restaurants there are expensive they want you to take them out to eat and take them out to the movies every day bro this is just sad man and this is how she played him and this is what he got in return by her doing all the stuff to him and that's the things that he got all the presents and gifts and all the Expensive luxury things Steve Harvey bought for her and that she got her. Man, she got everything out of this dude that she wanted. And this is the things she got. Typical nice guy, bro. He's a very typical nice guy. A good guy who got played, man. Y'all got to understand, women don't like good guys, bro. They don't like typical nice guys at all they're like the bad guys they used to getting dogged out they used to get smashed and ran through these women don't understand the concept of a typical nice guy these women are looking for a provider they're looking for a liability in the man they're looking for a priority he's her last option bro when a woman is fucking other guys behind your back after you don't bought her a whole lot of stuff, you got her nails done, you got her toes done, you got her hair done, and you paid to get plaster surgery on her butt and on her breast, and you paying for a BBL. 
what you're doing is allowing your woman to cheat on you with another man. You are allowing another woman to go fuck another dude and to pay him to fuck her. You're paying another dude to fuck your woman, bro. That's all you're doing, man. And you're not going to get nothing in return. This woman will get with you. They will get with a man. And they will use a man for his money. And they will get into a relationship with him. To splurge on her. Spend mad money on her. Like 150k or 250k. And they will cheat on him. These women will get into a relationship with you. To steal your money. And to take it all. Take everything that you got. And it's, they will get you to give them all your money and these women will cheat on you. These women will get into a relationship with you to take your money and cheat on your ass. This, this is just sad, bro. This is just fucking sad. I can't believe Steve Harvey married her ass. That's why he should never did that shit, man. He made a very big mistake. He done saved up a woman who's a dot, bro. He done saved up a hoe. This is just ridiculous. When a woman is getting with you after she smashed all these dudes and they dashed her and they come up to you and they find a guy like you who's a good man 10 years later after they smashed and dashed her and these guys don't even want her after she went through all those dudes after she got with all these men that she's ever slept with bro she's been sleeping around fucking around with other men when a woman get with you after she smashed all those dudes and when she been getting fucked down and piped down by all these men and she get with you and she go cheats on you with another man. And if the dude don't want her. And she comes back to you. And you take her back. She can never fully respect you man. You are her last resort. Facts. Including text messages to support her claims that Steve had neglected her financially while showering Marjorie.